Alright, bro. So before we get into the video, I just want to say the reason I'm in uploading because schoolwork and me doing overlays. But yeah, this 1K special coming out Saturday or Sunday. But let's just straight into the video. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Ain't No Dragon. And today, you know, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make posters like you see on the screen. Let's just straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is go into Photoshop, go to File, and then go to New. And then you want to pick this size right here for your poster. 1400 by 1750 and copy all these settings then you want to hit create after you do this we're going to go get our images and when i get my images from google i go to settings advanced search um any size like this and then hit that right there so now you get nothing but hd images all right so the post i'm going to be doing is going to be a russell westbrook poster and these are going to be screenshots i'm going to be using so I'm gonna click on both of these and hit Control C while clicking on like that and go over here and hit Control V to paste the images. So now that I got nice images, I'm gonna make this smaller and kinda have like this size right here. And the way I move it around is this tool right here. So now what you wanna do is go to filter then go to topaz lab you don't have this you can look it up i hit dynamic pop hit okay and then next thing i do is go to camera off filter and what i do is i set my texture to 100 but i have a preset for this so i'm gonna show you guys my preset but this is just what you want to do so i'm just go to filter camera off Go to my presets and this right here for my preset. Alright. Now that I did this, I'm going to go to the magic wand tool and just click on the background if it's a white background. And I'm going to cut this out and I'll be back with you guys. You hit control and X to cut it out, by the way. Alright, now that I have cut the first image off, I'm going to just do this so I can not have to mess with the right background. And you hit delete. Now, for the next image right here, just make this bigger. Well, actually, I'm gonna have it like right here. Or like right there. All right, so now that we got the next image, we're gonna do the same thing. Go to Filter, Topaz Labs, Dynamic Pop. And you can find this HDR collection, Dynamic Pop. Hit Apply. Um, once you do that, you go to the Camera Raw and you just up the texture all the way. I have a preset for it, so I'm just do my like that. Boom, and boom. Now that we have all the images, we can actually get started on the poster. So now what we will do is get a white background, and you can hit G on your keyboard, hit G on your keyboard, and bring one of these people up. And what we're gonna do is go to the gradient tool, and you guys can copy what I do. So I'm gonna pick this, pick the color on his shirt right here. I pick like one of these colors. Just try to find a good one. Then go over here, the same color, and make it a little bit darker, like this. And then you see what I have this on with the gradient tool. And you can just drag this from the bottom, like so. All right, so now that you have your background, basically the way that you do it is you hit G on your keyboard and you just drag it up until you feel like you got a good spot. So if you can see what it does, I will show you guys. So I'm gonna go to a new one. All right, so if you can see, it has like a little glow in the middle. But yeah. So now that we have this, you are gonna put Russell over the other Russell, like so. All right, so right here, the video cut out, but just follow what I tell you to do. All right, so when you have your background, basically what I did to get this effect on the character is, I'll show you guys. Go to my eraser tool and copy these settings, and you just tap on it. I tapped on them from the bottom so I can get those settings, so it's not hard to do. But just do that from the bottom, and he should look like what I did. Now that we did this, now I'm about to add the shadows. So I'm gonna make a group. I'm just gonna call it uh, R Russell. And then I'm gonna create a layer. And this is going to be my shadow right here. I'm just call it B. I don't know why I did that, but I ain't tripping. So, we just going to 
get that layer. Go to your brush tool with the B button. Make sure your brush is black also, because with this one, we're about to do a simple shadow. We're not going to do nothing crazy. But uh, yeah, you want to pick that same size, and you can just click one time on your screen. You can copy all these settings right here. And then once you click, just hold shift and drag it down from the top, like so. So yeah. And now that you did this, you have a shadow for his feet. So we can zoom in and make this look good. You put this shadow right here, hit control J, and put this shadow over here. Just like so. And if you need to make it wider or anything, you could just hold shift and bring it down some or whatever you gotta do. And I'm just, you can mess with that shadow until you get it right. I think that's about right for me. So now that you have the shadows, you can lower the opacity on them because you, I usually don't have my shadows all the way up on opacity. But you can lower that down some. And if you want it right there, that should be kind of all right. So now that you got all that, you can kind of make your stuff look like mine. If you listen to what I said about the shadows, you can drag it down some more if you want to. But I'm going to just keep mine right there. So next thing I'm going to do is open up my CC. And I will give you guys this in the description. If you need another link, just hit me up on Twitter. And all right, so now as you see the color correction on the screen, I'm going to lower some of the effects on here. Take that off because I want to use that. And I'll be you guys when I fix it. All right, so now that I got my color correction. You see how everything is looking. And with this right here, this is my green. I actually can show you guys how to create this effect really quickly. Let me show you. So basically what you want to do is create a layer. Hit G on your keyboard. And then go to uh, gray, like the gray color. You want to click on top of your screen like so. Uh, let me get back to this. Okay, to, okay click on your screen. And then what you want to do is go to noise, add noise, and you can copy this. And I just put it on hard light for this right here. And lower the opacity. And that's how you get the grain effect on Photoshop. So, yeah. Put this grain back on. And have it on like 52, yeah. So, make sure you save your work also. You can hit control and edge to save it. I'm going to lock the layers for right now, though. So, now what you want to do is... Hit B on your keyboard, create a new layer like I just did, and get a white brush. You want to hit the cap lock since your brush not showing up because that could be an issue. So, you're just going to tap around like so. And then put it on screen if you want to, whichever better to you. But, uh, put mine on screen have it kind of like that and then hit control is to save it all right next thing i'm gonna do is go get the team logo for his team and i'll be back all right so i ended up bringing this logo because it does look better to me so now that i brought this logo in i'm gonna just sit it right here i'm gonna do nothing too crazy but let me just sit the logo right here so yeah so, find a spot for it. Yeah, probably right there. All right, so next thing I want to do is Topaz Labs. And I'm going to do dynamic, dynamic pop on this. And then I'm going to go to Camera Raw. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do on here. On so Camera Raw, what I'm going to do is do the texture thing. All right. So now that I did this on the logo, the next thing I will do is go get my textures and I'm gonna put that on here. All right, so I got my texture and I will put this in the description if you guys need it. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I put it on. So basically what I do is I go to normal and I just load the opacity on it, that's simple. Now if you wanna try something different, you can, but that's just how I put my textures on personally. And I'm gonna show you guys the next thing I'm gonna do. All right, now what I'm gonna do is put the arena on here. This is something that I normally do when I make these type of posters. So I'm gonna just go on here and copy the image from Google and bring it in like so. So I'm gonna get this one of the Capital One Arena, which is the 
Washington DC arena. So I'm gonna get it and bring it over in Photoshop. All right, so to get the arena, basically what I do is I get to use the brackets to make my brush bigger and have my hardness on zero. And I just tap around it like this because with the arena, what I do is kind of just have it as like a little shadow or something like this. And have it like right here. You see what I'm talking about. So for now, like I would put the arena like above up here or something you yeah, know just lower the opacity like so all right so now that we got this we still have the empty spot and i'm gonna show you guys what i'm gonna do to that spot what i'm gonna do is make a shadow for this trophy right here put it over here and I'm actually gonna make a new shadow for this one. I don't want to use the same one, so just click with that. Bring this down like so, and use this for the shadow of this trophy. So we will put it right here, and you don't have to use a trophy because this video is supposed to kind of teach you how to make posters so you really don't have to put the same stuff I put I don't even know none about the NBA for real I don't know about the trophy so I just put one on there but yeah I got the trophy got Russell Westbrook got all this if you, if you want to add more stuff you can but just for the video purpose this is all I'm going to be showing you guys because I don't want to make it too long but if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Now I'm about to show you guys what I do at the end. I'm going to merge visible. Well, actually, make sure you say your word with control S before you do that. Merge visible with this. And basically, I'm going to go to camera raw. And I'm going to show you guys what I do when I get done. So I go to camera raw. And then what I do is I start going through my effects. Now, this is... These are presets that I have saved, but whatever one I put on, I'm gonna show you guys the preset. And I'm only gonna show you that, I can't show you no more but one. So, I think I'm gonna put this one on, so I'm gonna show you guys the preset. All right. So, freaking, if you wanna know the preset so bad, <laughs> you gonna have to slow down the video, but I'm gonna go through these to show you. If it's actually popping up, that, that's how you do it. But, alright. Back to the thing. The 45 fire. And hit OK for my preset. Now, this is the finished product. What I'm going to do now is I use the Magic Bullet uh, Topaz Lab. But sometimes I just keep it like this if it's looking good already. So, since that's the case with this right here, this is going to be finished product. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Peace out.